Hello everybody. An eruption between Mount Faradarsfjall and Mount Kaelir is most likely imminent in the next couple of hours instead of days based on recent signs, so it may be a good time to tune in to the live streams. Data suggests that if an eruption occurs it will be more powerful than the previous two, as the magma flow of the intrusion has been measured to almost be double that of the previous intrusion in 2022 and more than double that of the intrusion back in 2021. So let's analyze the data in more detail. New satellite images revealed clear ground deformation on the Reykjanes Peninsula, caused by the magma intrusion between Mount Fagradalsfjall and Mount Kaelir. By comparing these images to the intrusion back in 2021, we can see that it bears a striking resemblance, whereas the intrusion in 2022 seems to have had less of an effect on the peninsula due to its lesser volume, which explains its shorter lifespan. What experts have also estimated is the intrusion's magma flow. At 88 cubic meters per second, it is more than double that of the first intrusion, which was estimated to be around 34 cubic meters per second, and with the intrusion in 2022 being 49 cubic meters per second. The 2022 eruption's initial stages were more powerful than in 2021, which means if an eruption occurs now, we can expect a show with tall lava fountains and long fissures. The activity we're seeing now is very similar to the activity seen right before the past two eruptions, with decreased power and number of earthquakes and also decreased uplift. Recent estimates also show that the magma is less than 1000 meters below the surface and is continuing to advance upwards, so at this pace lava could be flowing on the surface any time now. But if an eruption were to occur, where would it surface? By looking at the earthquake map, we can take educated guesses by looking at the most recent shallow earthquakes. That would give us two possible sites marked in red, with the north site being more likely as activity has been centered there. You might be wondering about the earthquakes to the right and why we don't take them into account. That is because they are so called pressure release quakes, caused by just that. This pressure is released due to the effect the intrusion has on the faults in the region and these quakes are often the largest. So at the time being, there are three scenarios that could play out. The first two are the most obvious, as data suggests that in the next 48 hours, an eruption is highly likely to occur. And if not, the intrusion has probably died out, meaning an eruption will not occur. The third is a scenario we saw back during the first intrusion in 2021, where magma was trying to reach the surface in the same area as now, but just couldn't as the ground seemed to be too hard. That caused the magma to surge southwest through paths of least resistance, eventually breaking the surface in Geltingadalir. This reroute is what caused that intrusion to last so long, or three weeks, and this could happen again if magma doesn't find a way through the ground between Mount Kaelir and Mount Fagradarsfjall. We could tell if that scenario starts to play, as earthquake activity would likely increase again as magma moves through new ground. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.